we've got Robert, we've got Tiffany joining us to talk about uh, BHR, behavioral health response, and the need for a, a response to mental health in our area. First of all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks uh, for having us. Tell us a little bit about the work of BHR. Oh, well, BHR is about to turn 30. So for 30 years, we have focused on being a healthcare organization that specializes in crisis support, suicide prevention, and behavioral health care. How does that walk out? How do y'all walk that out on a regular basis? Oh, well, we are the largest 988 suicide and crisis lifeline provider in the state of Missouri. So we have clinicians that answer the phones whenever somebody's having a crisis. They call us, our clinicians talk to them, help them get stable, get a safety plan in place, and then connect them to other long-term resources and supports. Robert, I mean, you think 30 years, my goodness, what, from then till now, everything that has happened, this has just become uh, an epidemic of its own in, sure. our, in our country and around the world, really. Absolutely. Um, we're, and where we're going from here is more technology, being more innovative, and being able to reach more people quicker, quicker and really uh, getting our efficiency together so we can service our community. Tell me about some of those new programs you have that are, that are utilizing that. Sure. So you want to talk about Rosa first? Sure. I'll, I'll go to Rosa. Uh, Rosa, powered by BHR, is an app. So when the children go into the classroom, they'll have a mental assessment. Uh, quick questions that will really get, let the people that need to know what's going on with the, with the child. Mm -hmm. uh, and if there's a response that's needed, we will show up in that app through text, video counseling, or if it's severe enough, we will come there in person to make sure that we get our children the help they need. Well, that's great. That's great. So we also have some additional programs. So we are starting a partnership with the Community Improvement District downtown. Ironically, the program is called START. And so that program will help um, the folks that are downtown, the businesses, the residents, the folks that are just kind of down there doing, doing their day-to-day -day thing, making sure they have a clinical response when something is happening. Or if we see somebody that is in a crisis or needs some support, we have clinicians there to provide that. And that's, that's kind of the key is you want timeliness. It needs Absolutely. to be. You don't, you don't want a lot of time to pass. You want, when the need is there, you want to meet it. Absolutely. So for BHR, one of the things that makes us really special is that we are 24 hours. So if you have a crisis, typically people either call police or the hospitals or BHR because we respond 24-7. Yeah. Talk about the, the, the need to get past the stigma because some people, they just don't want to go there because they don't want to go there, right? Yeah. They, they don't want the stigma of mental health. But so many folks have come out and said, hey, look, we all have have our struggles, get yeah. some help if you need it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think the stigma is a big barrier to folks, you know, kind of receiving services and getting the supports they need. I do think that we're making progress in terms of breaking down that stigma and having these kind of conversations is very helpful to move that forward. I think us working and prioritizing children and children's mental wellness is a, is a big factor in helping to decrease that stigma and, and helping folks gain access to the care that they need. And folks who have received care coming out and saying, hey, this, this helped. Absolutely. You need to know that it's absolutely. out there. One of, the, one of the biggest problems is people think they're the only one. Yeah. Yes. When they isolate, they think I'm the only one that's dealing with it. Absolutely. And it's not true. We're no, all just humans having true. very yeah. human experiences exactly. <laughs> every day. So. And if we can get the community to rally around it, it just becomes natural. Yeah. It just becomes the norm. Uh, so we're really pushing forward with, with followers on all our social media platforms, BHR, STL, to be relatable, to let you know we are in community and we're here for you. So just family, community, just do it all together. And what would you like the community to do? How can they partner with BHR? Sure. So you can support some of our programming. Um, BHR is everywhere doing everything all the time and trying to figure out ways to fill gaps in services. And so Robert mentioned the ROSA app and being able to partner and make sure the kids are taken care of. And I think for us, yeah. we just want you to follow us. Follow us on social media. Um, come out to our events. When you see our logo, uh, just come up and talk to somebody. You know, uh, let us get to know you, get to know us, and uh, just just stay in touch with what we're doing. Let's all do it together, like walk together and uh, address this 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 crisis with mental health. There you go. Do it as a community. Thank Absolutely. you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. You bet.